What's up, guys? I'm Alex Chase. I'm back here with a brand new video. Hope for the great team tonight. If you guys are in this world, and my team, the freaking Boston Celtics, just signed Al Hor. Just signed Taco Fall. I was looking at the Al Horford jersey. I wish we kept Al Horford, but no. We just signed freaking Taco Fall, baby. The seven foot seven monster out of Central Florida. Taco Fall. Taco Tuesday. You know, shout out LeBron. And yeah, I absolutely do not like this signing. And here's why. I'll get into, let's get into this video. And I'll tell you, like I just said, here's why I was going to, we got to keep some suspense. I'm sorry. But anyways, hope you guys do enjoy this video. I just want to say thank you guys for the consistent support lately. It's been awesome. Thank you for all of you subscribers. Welcome to my channel. And hope you guys do enjoy this video. Please drop a like and don't forget to subscribe. And also, hope you guys do enjoy this video. Let's get it started. So Taco Fall tweeted, Excited to be part of the Celtics organization. It's the beginning of seeing my dream come true. There is still lots to work to be done. Yeah, bro. You got no shot. Uh... T to secure our spot on the active roster by the time the season starts. Gonna stay humble, but I'm hungry and determined. I love this man, Taco Fall. Now, I don't really, th I think, I don't think we should sign him, which I'll get to in a second. Should have signed him, but I'll get that, like I said, I'll get there in a second. But I'm gonna read some other tweets here. Ennis Canner said, in Taco, we trust. Ennis Canner, he has a lot to be upset about. His parents are like stuck in Turkey. They're, the Turkish president just died. And he wanted to kill Ennis Canner. He might not even be able to go to Canada. He got a lot to be worried about. But for some reason, he stays positive, And I love that about Ennis Canner. Anyways, going back to Taco. A reason why I don't think we should have signed him is just because it's taking a humongous gamble where we could have got another player to fill that roster spot. And yes, Taco Fall might go back and forth from the G League to the active roster, which I do think will happen. He definitely will not play a ton this year. I just want to put that out there. We got three people ahead of him. Ennis Canner, Robert Williams, Daniel Tice. Yes, Daniel Tice can play the four, but he's listed as a center on the team, so we're going to say Daniel Tice and then Taco Fall. One thing, I, this is a little bit of like a... A little bit of like a take, not really anything that's going to be proven or ever will be proven. I think Danny Ainge and the Celtics kind of got Taco Fall for the publicity. Yes, they don't really need it. The Celtics still have Kemba, they have Kemba Walker and a lot of good young guys like JB and JT. But for some reason, I don't. I, this doesn't seem like a Danny move. He's taking a humongous, humongous gamble on a guy that we don't even know if he'll ever become anything great in the NBA. But for the video, in Summer League, he averaged... 7.2 points a game on 77% shooting, which that's actually is pretty good for a big man. That's actually really good for a big man. Four rebounds. I mean, you're not a tall man. You gotta be getting some more rebounds than that. 1.4 blocks, which is good. And he's only getting 12 minutes a game. So I guess that's pretty good, honestly. 7.2 points, 77%, almost 80% shooting, four rebounds, 1.4 1, 1. blocks, only in only 12 minutes. That's honestly not bad. And then at U, UCF, he averaged 10.7.7 .7 rebounds, 2.4 blocks, but he was playing 23 minutes a game. So I guess technically he actually might have did a little bit better in Summer League because he was getting around 12 minutes less. So that's not bad for coming in or your first time playing in the NBA. So good job, Taco. But the thing is, we don't really know what his exact contract is because I go to ESPN, which I'm looking around. ESPN lists all the contracts. Like it has Kevin Walker. That's not accurate though because he's not getting 12 million a year. Okay, that's not exactly accurate. He's getting like 24, 21 million a year. But anyways, that's not the point. It's how we have a Gordon here with 31 million. That's, that's an accurate one. But anyways, Taco Fall, there's just no money next to his name. I think that's because he hasn't officially signed the contract yet. If you go to Ennis Canner, uh, Ennis Canner does because he signed his contract. So we just have to wait till Taco Fall signs his contract and we'll see how much money he's getting. But if I'm going to guess, it's probably like a one, two year contract. You know, one to two million. I don't think I don't think it's a two-way contract. Cause I, I think we only have two-way people on the roster at one time, and we already have that guy. I, I can't tell you. His, I can't forget his name. But we got a guy who we got in the summer league, and I want to say, uh, what's his name? Jonathan Gibson. We might might have that spot. So I'm not exactly sure what we're gonna do with what type of contract talk. Oh no, we got Tremont Waters, and then the guy I can't even tell you what his name is, who have the two-way contracts. But going back to Taco, I am gonna give an estimate or my best guess on how many points he'll average this year and how his career is going to look like this is obviously going to be completely wrong i mean it, some things might be a little bit true but it's hard to predict this stuff taco fall i think he'll play around 30 40 games on the active celtics roster and the rest will be in the g league just working on his game progressing and seeing if the chance danny Ainge is taking will work out in his favor 
on the Celtics active roster. I think he'll play around eight to 10 minutes a game, average around four to five points a game, three rebounds, about 0.5 to one assist a game. He's not really much of a passer and one block. Now you're saying, if you put that in the per 36, those are astronomical numbers, yes, but he'll never play 36 minutes anytime soon. So for the 10 minutes he's getting, yes, that is pretty good. And these are just my estimate. Like he's a big guy. We've seen he can play pretty well. He did pretty damn well in summer league for the minutes he was getting and the size he is at. If he gets just like his lateral movement and just the up and down the court speed a little bit better and is off the pick and roll spin, just gets the basket faster. I think the sky's the limit. Yes, his shot is whack, but his free throw is honestly not terrible. So it was around 50% in the summer league, which is bad. But at least you're not like DeAndre Jordan coming in the league and shooting like 20%. And that's something he's going to work on. Now, for the G League stats, I think that's where he's going to mostly play. I'm going to say he's going to play around 28 minutes a game. Just because he's going to be there, probably their center or backup center. And he's a guy that the Celtics definitely want to progress and get his progression going. And seeing if this chance Danny and the Celtics are taking and the organization is taking will work out in their favor. Or they'll be like, hey, Taco, you're out of here, buddy. So with that being said, I think he'll play around 28, 30 minutes a game. Average around 12, this is my guess, 12 to 15 points a game. In the G League, it's kind of like playing in college, but the talent is obviously probably like three tiers better than in college. Because in college, if you're playing D1 college basketball, everybody's good. Now, if you go into the G League, it's probably like three tiers up. They got a mix of NBA guys and then guys who probably never played in the NBA. So it's a good mix. So I think he'll average around 12, 15 points a game, around 10, 12 rebounds. I think he has the potential of being like a Rudy Gobert where he'll score 15 points and get like 15 rebounds. I think he has that potential. So that's why I say around 12, 15 points and then 10, 12 rebounds. And I say I'll get 1.8 to two bucks a game. He'll be having some good meals in that paint. He'll be like, boom, boom, boom. He'll have a feast in the paint. And then I say I'll average around two assists. That's just like a little stat, but He's big, not much of a passer. The ball's going to be going to him more. I thought that they could do, you put him in the post, everybody like, oh, he gets the ball and just toss it out for a three. I don't know. That's just a, that's just a little guess. And then, this is where we get a little more technical technical on a few different routes the Celtics could choose to go with Taco Fall. If Danny wants to take the chance and it works out in their favor and, you, and they see Taco is progressing into something special, that'll be around three, four years down the, down the road. And then they'll say either let him go or keep him. Now, if they keep him, that means he's progressing well. And they see he is turning into a player that could be very special in the NBA or is already special in the NBA. Or they'll let him go in around three, four years and be like, oh, well, we took this chance. It never really turned into much. It didn't really work in our favor. Bye-bye, Taco. So I think they're going to give Taco around three, four years to see what he can do. Because Taco could be a league-changing player if he turns into anything that he we think he could possibly turn into. And then if it doesn't work out and the potential, it just doesn't, they don't even see it this year. And he just really, any, everything he did in summer league and college just never, does not even transpire to the league or G League. He could be gone after his contract's up or even sooner by releasing him, trading him, you know, stuff like that. So anyways, hope you guys did enjoy this video. This whole prediction here, you know, obviously I don't know, I'm not in the system, I don't, I'm not in the organization. But this is just my best guess on what could possibly happen in Taco Falls Celtics career. Anyways, hope you guys did enjoy this video. Like always, peace.